Hi! She's telling me to slow down. Hi! Welcome to my channel. This is Jacenta here, and I'm coming to you from the courtesy of my home in Colorado, where I now live. And this is my channel. I decided to start it because I'm young and I want to talk about fun things and about being Catholic and trying to figure out how the heck, what the heck is God calling us to as young people if you're single and you're not in your vocation and all of these things. So that's what this channel is for. And a recent thing that came up in my life this week, a recent theme, is the theme of suffering. And it's something that I haven't experienced for a little while, it feels like. Um, over the summer, I was just enjoying being in Denver and just having fun and doing all the different things that young adults do in the summer. And so I kind of didn't really feel like anything was happening in my life in particular. So I was like, where is God? Like, is he there? Even though I was going to daily mass, daily holy hour, all of those things, I still didn't feel him working in my life. Um, but I always feel him working in my life. I don't know why whenever I'm suffering because he seems like he's like literally right there. Um, and this week was just crazy because I had a paper that was due. Um, there were just different things going on interiorly. I felt like, I don't know, like anxious or like had anxiety and like it just didn't feel very good. I felt like a delicate little flower and just kind of vulnerable. So just with that, I kind of felt like I was alone in my suffering and I was talking to one of my roommates and she's like, you know what? I kind of feel the same way this week. And I'm like, really? Um, and that's the beauty of our faith is that even though like we're suffering, God still gives us consolation in our suffering because he showed me like, hey, Jace, you're not alone. There's like somebody who's right here with you who's going through something. Everybody's going through something. We all have something going on. And so um, I was reminded of that, like in the midst of suffering, there's consolation too. And as Christians, we can forget that we have suffering. And one line from Matthew that I like to remember is um, Jesus says, if anybody wants to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. So this is actually the verse from the Bible that actually brought me back to my faith back in college eight years ago. And it should tell you how old I am, do the math. Um, so this is what we're signing up for as Christians as a life of suffering. And I think that if we forget that, then when things get really hard, it's easier to just stop going to mass, to stop uh, praying, to stop going to confession when things get hard. But if we just give that to God and allow him to purify us in the midst of the suffering and to embrace our cross, will come out on the other side way stronger than we were before. Um, so know that you're not alone. And the Christian life is a sacrifice. I was talking to my brother John recently. He's totally not living out his faith. Um, but he's like, Jacinta, I'm so proud of you for doing all the things you're doing. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? Like, what am I doing? And he's pretty much told me, like, it looks like it's hard to, like, live out your faith and stuff. Like, it seems like it's a sacrifice. And I'm like, well, what does it seem like a sacrifice from? He was like, it seems like a sacrifice from sensual pleasures and, like, I don't know. Just, it seems really hard. This is my brother who's, like, just a regular guy living in the world. Um, but from him, from his perspective, it looks like a sacrifice. So the Christian life is going to be hard, but it's worth it. And there's so much freedom and joy in that. And that's what this whole channel is about, how to live the good life and how to do that well through living out our faith and the challenges that come along in that. So I hope you have enjoyed this first video. There's going to be more to come, so stay tuned. All right.